Welcome to the show. I'm Donna Ruco. And I'm Holly Morgan. Let's start by counting down the top of the list. In our newsroom, the one and only Bradley Hasemeyer. Thanks, guys. You know, in a good marriage, when one of you feels down, the other picks you up. Or if you're in Finland, tosses you on their back and runs through an obstacle course to win beer. That's number three. No, you are not hallucinating. This is the Wife Carrying World Championship featuring 60 couples from 14 countries. The first across the finish line won the weight of the winning wife in beer. I wish we were kidding. But even better than beer, try the latest trend in what doctors are using to ease your pains, Botox. You just feel better about yourself, and it might erase the sting of whatever bad event they've gone through. Yeah, or just erase your ability to facially express those bad feelings. Either way, there's no arguing there's been a big in increase in broken-hearted Botox use. Okay, so here we go, Reed. I'm just going to do this. And here's a more natural way to cheer up, a family reunion that only happened because of Facebook. That's at number two. It's been a long, long journey. A long journey with a crazy happy ending. California's Hope Holland reunited with her now 18-year-old son, Jonathan, 15 years after his father kidnapped him and took him to Mexico. It's a miracle. I never thought this day would ever, ever come. The reunion is all thanks to this photo. Jonathan made it his Facebook profile picture. Hope saw it, and after months of talking online, was finally able to bring Jonathan home. Ever since I found him, my whole world, my whole outlook and direction changed. Facebook, we like this story. Now a story we don't like. Starbucks is raising their prices, and it's emptying our wallets one triple frappuccino at a time. It's our number one story of the day. We're doing something different that we've never done before. Yep, their prices are going venti. Well, that's nothing new. They are putting the bucks back in Starbucks. Starting today, tall and venti cups of coffee will cost 10 cents more, and other drinks may cost an extra 20 cents. Now, that may not sound like much, but if you buy a coffee a day, that's about 70 bucks extra per year. The perfect union of bold and sweet. Okay, you know what? Don't try to distract us with your, oh man, that looks good. Time for a triple whip mocha caramel macchiato break. Anyone have some extra change?